Cup of Joe. I'm your host, Joe. This week's first question comes from Bert. Should you disassemble a car battery for scrap? Uh, Bert, I, I don't even want to answer this one, but I will. Battery Batteries have acid in them. You should never take apart a battery because you're going to either ruin your clothes, burn something. It's just not safe. It's not safe to take apart batteries. Don't ever do it. Next question comes from Ned Landry. He wants to know how often you have your scales calibrated and if he weighs something at home, will it weigh the same if he brings it in? Uh, the scales. Every day I work the scales at my job. That's what I do for a living. So every day I check every scale in my shop. I make sure they're all reading within five pounds of each other. If they're not, I will lift them, clean them. If they're still reading wrong, call the scale company, have them recalibrated. As far as the scale at home, check it. Most of the times, your scale is not going to match my scale because my scale is always calibrated. Home scales go out of calibration very often. Happens all the time. People bring stuff in. doesn't match. Usually won't match. But we calibrate them as often as possible whenever they need it. Next question comes from David. He wants to know if you can scrap the copper coils or yokes from televisions. What I have here is called a copper yoke. This comes out of a TV. It'll be on the back of the tube, on the old tube TVs. And this is what it looks like right when you take it out. Now, you can sell it like this, but it's not that hard to take these apart. You hit them with a hammer, knock all the plastic off. There's a little bit of glass here, so be careful. And uh, I'll show you what you get. This is what you get. There'll be two halves to this. I don't have the other half, but that's basically where it sits. Just hit this with a hammer. And you'll come out with this. This will be a piece of number two copper. The next question this week kind of goes off of what we were just talking about with copper coils. Uh, what When you're scrapping wire and there's different color wires, do those different color wires have to be separated or can they be mixed together without affecting the price? And this is from Mike. Mike, you got, you get different color copper wires like this. The different colors are just a shellac, but you're going to want to make sure that you hit these with a file. If you don't file these, they might be aluminum, they might be copper. Only way to tell is to file them. Now when you file them, obviously separate your aluminum and your copper, but these will never be a number one, so you can lump these in with your number two tube, number two tin, any of your number two, this can go with it because of the shellac coating. Next question comes from Mike. What is the most valuable thing to scrap besides copper? Uh, next best thing I'd have to say would be e-waste, but a lot of places don't deal with e-waste, and it's not as common as a lot of other things. But beyond that, I would go with brass, just because it's usually high in the price, and it's always heavy. Brass is always heavy. It's one of the best things out there. So copper, e-waste, brass, easily. For this week's episode of Cup of Joe, I'm Joe. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe right below. Any questions, post them below. Happy scrapping.